it honestly just makes me feel calm and like connected to nature and and I feel better throughout the day. Like I'm gonna have a great day today. I'm gonna have a great day today. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fran and welcome to the famous 40 foot down here in South Dublin. I am obsessed with wild swimming and blue spaces. Blue space is a wonderful term used for places in nature that have open water. So think of seas, oceans, rivers, lakes, even a pond will get you there in a blue space. Sea swimming in Dublin became popular in the late 18th century, but not for pleasure. It was recommended by doctors as a cure-all and to benefit their health. And the biggest difference you'll see between swimming now and in the 18th century is that both genders can swim in designated spots in whatever they want to wear. The separation of sexes was actually an ongoing battle until the 1970s here in the 40 foot. Sea swimming and blue spaces can do wonders for our well-being, while stress and anxiety can wreak havoc on our body. Scientifically speaking, stress and anxiety show up in our sympathetic nervous system, or our SNS, more commonly known as our fight, flight, or freeze response. When stress is triggered at the amygdala, or the panic station in our brain, our breathing might get quicker, we might sweat, our blood pressure rises, and our body releases uh, high levels of adrenaline in our bodies. We also have the lovely parasympathetic nervous system, or the PNS, which is our rest and repair system. And we don't have to do anything to kickstart it, it's just always there. However, we do need to give it the opportunity to work. When our SNS and our stress levels are high, it can't do anything for us. We need to be in a level of calm or deep sleep in order for it to work. The PNS is important because it calms us down and it allows all of our cells to repair, especially our T cells, which is an essential part of our immune system. Do today. Depression and inflammation in the body are actually closely linked. You can treat depression to a certain extent with anti-inflammatory drugs. And when we jump into cold water, our body goes into shock from the cold and our heart rate increases. But then after a while, our heart rate regulates and we adapt to the cold. And this practice can actually reduce inflammation in the body and stimulate our PNS, which also reduces inflammation in our body. It can also help with chronic stress situations in our lives. Day to day, we have constant surges of stress. So running for a bus, a stressful meeting, juggling our day to day lives. And over time, jumping in cold water can actually reduce that surge of stress. So therefore, cold water swimming, especially in a beautiful bluescape like this, can actually reduce your stress response overall. so much. Everyone should see swim. Everyone should see swim.